Well, I'll do, uh, and welcome to uh, the Isle of Sal. Uh, if you're watching this video, obviously you're interested in coming to Sal in Cape Verde, uh, or you're actually coming to the hotel which I'm actually reviewing. And the hotel we're reviewing today, we're reviewing the Melia Tortuga. Uh, now, I've been to Cape Verde quite a few occasions, and this is our fifth time, and it is the first time at Melia Tortuga on the Isle of Sal, Cape Verde. Now this sits on the on the beach resorts, obviously alongside just down the road, down this side, uh, we have the Sol Dunas, Sol uh, Sol Dunas, Amelia Dunas, but also you have the Amelia Lalana, but and also the Two of Blue, which are basically right beside it. Uh, down this side here, uh, right about I think it's about a mile and a half, uh, you have the uh, Rui Cabo Verde and Rui. Fufana Hotel, so obviously I've been down there this morning, had a run. Uh, so let's have a little look around, see what it's all about. We are on one of our last days here, and I've left the review to the last day, and we've got a very cloudy day, so unfortunately, maybe no sun uh, while we're doing the review. So let's get inside and have a look. Uh, well, I haven't got a clue what it says, but I do presume it's when it was opened, and it looks like the 7th of May. 2011 I would presume, hmm, maybe wrong, I'll have to go to Google Translate I think. Here we have the Spices restaurant, now this is where you're going to eat every day for breakfast and lunch, but also you can have your tea here as well, but there are other restaurants which I highly recommended. Alright, so this is the actual Spices restaurant where you get your breakfast in the morning and you come for lunch. Here we have the uh, lobby bar. This is basically just coming back from the restaurant. Well, this is the lobby bar here. You have so much football on the TV, you have the Premier League games on, so that's pretty good. We'll look around. Yeah, nice place, do a bit of music at night and that, so, uh, I mean, you've got to realise it is, uh, it is the start of February, uh, it's a very windy island and this is the reason why I've got the dead cat on the microphone, because there's a lot of wind about, so, uh, we're in the lobby bar now, so, quite pleasant, so I could do a little bit more entertainment on at night, but, you know, it is just, it's, the, it's the quiet, it's the quietest month at the moment, so, let's have a look around the rest of it. So well, this is the main pool where all the activities are during the day. They have the salsa dancing and they have the aqua roving. The usual things that they do on holiday. And as you can see, we're talking about it's 10.30 in the morning, the clouds are out and there's not an actual lot of people around the pool at the moment. Uh, on the day in Santa Maria. You can get the, the coach down to Santa Maria. Now on a day like today when it's cloudy, the best thing you can do is obviously either get your feet up, chill out, read the book, but there is a coach from the reception leaving to go into Santa Maria twice daily in the morning. One at 10 a.m. and one at 11. Now you can go into Santa Maria, have a look down there. This, this shops, these restaurants, it's nice to see. It's improved quite a lot since we come five years ago. They have built it up a little bit. So on a cloud day, get yourself on the, on the bus and get you down to Santa Maria. And you can go, like I say, at 10 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock, and stay down there and get the free shuttle. It's a free shuttle, pack it at 4, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. All right, so on a cloud here, that's what you must do. Now, this restaurant here, this is part of the actual package you can go to. It's a lovely little restaurant. It's, uh, it is a, a Italian. And you can go there, and it's absolutely, well, I enjoyed it when we come here. I enjoyed it when we came here. We come here, it allowed three, it's three meals you can book on the actual, uh, on the, a full, a part of the all inclusive. You can go to the Chinese, you can go to the Italian, and you can go to the grill house where it does the steak as well. So, yeah, you must book them in. So, I'm staying there. Once you do get to reception, you get your little key and get a dedicated room to yourself for your, your, the length of your stay. You go and book your meals, book them straight away. You've got. You know, you've got, like I said, the Italian, you've got the Chinese, you've got the grill house where does a steak as well. You can go any night you want. You've just got to go and see Antonio, who does the bookings, uh, and he'll book you in. 
give me a ticket, go down to the grill house, Italian or Chinese, eat reserved time and table, so you must get them anyway. And what we'll do now, we've just gone past Italian, and what we'll do, we'll go down to the grill house, which we was talking about, uh, which you'll see in a minute. Lovely, even for lunch, it's got some really nice food, highly recommend it, it sits on the beach, uh, and I had the Mexican, which was absolutely brilliant. I don't do Mexican, we don't, I never eat it on, but I've had it most, I've had it most uh, lunches, but yeah, I have to admit, it was really, really good. So, we'll just go down to the grill house now, which goes onto the beach. So, as we go down this path now, we're coming to the grill house. Now, this is part, it's all inclusive. Obviously, you get your lunch here, it's absolutely lovely. Uh, but also, you can book in for a steak at night, and, and I found that very nice as well. So, as we see, you can see the beach in the foot in the foreground, so it's right on the beach, uh, it's a lovely, lovely bar, and there's some really nice foods as well. That's the side of the actual grill, so I mean, it's, it's an absolutely damn shame today, I mean, it's a cloudy day today, and it really the clouds doesn't give this place justice it's a beautiful beautiful place and also the beach is absolutely stunning uh, the only thing i would say obviously we, we've come back we've come uh, in early february we've been to cape verde on five other occasions and we've never ever had cloudy weather so i think that's another thing you got to keep in mind is when you, when you book your holiday, you know, you are on the African coast, I totally understand. Yeah, it doesn't give it justice, definitely doesn't give it justice. The sun comes out on the actual, the, the colour of the sea is turquoise, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, so we're going to Cape Verde, yeah, I think I will come again next time, uh, later on down the line. Uh, it's a little bit too early, I think, unless we have some thick weather, who knows. I'll tell you what, that's not bad retirement, is it? Sitting there with your feet up being retired, looks like they're all little private villas, these one on the front. There's one next door as well, I'll show you. They're little private ones, yeah. They're private ones, I wouldn't mind one of them. Right on the, the seafront next to the beach. Cannot grumble whatsoever. Can you look at that? Lovely. You know you've got it right when you can retire with a place like that. There you are, Melia Tortugu Beach Resort, Cabo Verde. But that's where it's going to stay. It's not going nowhere, is this thing. I'm telling you because that has got a few holes in the bottom. <laughs> there you go, sinking ship. Okay, so on a cloud here like this, what can you do? Quite a few things you can do. I mean, if you're into fitness, you can go running. You can hire electric bikes. All right, so there's plenty to go. There's plenty to go at. And also you can just sit and read a book if you wish, but uh, it is a cloudy day today, so I picked a day, the last day, I thought I'll do it on the last day, we have all pig in clouds. Uh, so I'm just going to walk along the front and show you what it's actually like. Uh, there's quite a few hotels up here, and quite a few private villas and all. So what I'll do, I'll just show you the walkway, uh, where you can walk to at night. Now, I do believe that you can pay an extra fee at your hotel in the Melia, Tortuga, or any of the Melia hotels, which will give you entrance to the Melia hotels. And I'm sure you're allowed to drink in them. So, it's not that you don't like your hotel that you're at, you might want to change them being in all the time. So that's a good thing, I suppose. So we'll have a little look around the beach, and I'll show you what it's all about. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it wasn't Bob Marley from Jamaica, which is a bit from Cape Verde. So I'm a bit confused about that one. Don't worry, eat, drink, and chill. And that's what we've been doing. We'll feel better for it. Now you're only 10 yards from the entrance of the uh, Melia Tortuga, where you've walked just to the right of the grill house, and you come down, and you see, you'll see all these little villas here, and they're beautiful. And I'm sure you can rent them to tell you the truth. I would presume you could do anyway. But they are very, very nice. Now, if you look down this way, you'll see in the distance, well, it's not distance, it's not that far away actually. Uh, that is the grill house. And if you walk down the middle of the grill house, you can go back into the complex. So, 
it's like I say, the cloud here, it doesn't do it justice, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the one thing I would say, in regards to uh, Sal Alley, it is very, very windy. And as you can see, I've got the windshield on. It is a very, very windy island. Now, some days you can be lying on the beach. Uh, at the end of the day, the sand will fly up a little bit. Uh, it has been quite windy this time of year. But also, it's the first time we come early February in your weather. After we've been south five times, we've always had gorgeous weather. We've had a few cloudy days, I have to admit. But the time out from the rat race in the UK is priceless. So, yeah, it's been good. We fly back tomorrow. I just thought the information I've given you is valuable to you. Question for you, would I return to this? Would I return to the hotel? Uh, that's a question I don't know yet. I think when you go home, you actually realise uh, how much you've enjoyed it. And I have enjoyed it. Uh, so until I get back home, I never make a decision. So, so I tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut my losses and say, yes, I probably would come back. If you look at my other reviews on my channel, we went to the uh, Rui Tureg uh, last June. I wasn't right keen on that, and I'll put a link in the description below. But, you know, we've been coming to the Sol Dunas, which is just up the road behind me. And I, we've been three times to that, and I rate it very, very highly. So, at the top of the list is the Sol Dunas for me. Me and Lee's doing this Sol Dunas, I have all day. I just hope the video's been okay for you. Uh, and it gives you the information you want. So, listen. Watch that bush and don't get the ice ports out with you on the phone when you're videoing. Have a great day and hope the video's been helpful.